Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios, formerly known as Disney MGM Studios, and that's actually what we're gonna be talking about today. But yes, we're gonna be transported back to 1994. And I think I've done a couple of these videos before where I kind of go back in time at a certain place. I know I've done it at a Disney Springs. I went back to like 1977 to the Lake Buena Vista shopping village. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here today at Disney Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna be talking about all that was here in 1994 at Disney MGM Studios. First things first, this of course would not say Disney Hollywood Studios. This would say Disney MGM Studios right here. It looked pretty much exactly the same except replace Hollywood with MGM. So the first thing we come up on over here in Hollywood Boulevard, most of the things over here look pretty much the same. So one thing that was probably slightly different than it is today is right here at the crossroads of the world, this globe is supposed to be spinning where Mickey is. Um, it spins when it wants to, it feels like. Sometimes it's spinning, sometimes it's not, but I'm pretty sure back in the day, this always used to spin. So one of the cooler things that you could actually be able to do here at MGM Studios was over here, there was a production information window and you could actually get free tickets to a real TV show taping because MGM Studios used to be like an actual real working studio. So uh, that's pretty awesome. But it seems like just about everything else on Hollywood Boulevard right here in this front part of the park is exactly the same as it is today. They still have this Oscars uh, car service yeah. place right here. They still have the dark room on this side as well as Mickey's of Hollywood down this whole strip right here. They still have this cover story. This is all the same store right here. They just have different names on this side for some reason. Celebrity Five and Dime was still here. One thing that's a little bit different is though, right next to Celebrity Five and Dime, this place is called Adrian and Edith's Head to Toe. Um, it seems like back in 1994, this was actually called Sweet Success. But it's funny because they are still advertising like candy. We've got treats for every craving, and uh, over here, make your day a little sweeter, but they have Adrian and Edith's right here. I don't even think they have candy in this part of the store. Yeah, there's no candy in this part of the store. But a big difference, probably the biggest difference over here on Hollywood Boulevard is right over here where the Starbucks is. Right now, this is called the Trolley Car Cafe. But back in the day, this was actually called LA Cinema Storage and it wasn't a coffee shop. It wasn't a Starbucks. Starbucks didn't come until like 2012, I believe. But this was actually a regular shop where you could buy Disney uh, souvenirs. One of the things that definitely was still around back in 1994 was the citizens of Hollywood. These are one of the best parts of this whole park. They, they're so funny. You gotta interact with them if you see them. All right, and let's continue down this way, down on Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, one thing is there definitely wasn't this stage right here. And actually something that you guys may think was here since the beginning of the park, since when the park opened, but was it, is this statue right here. This actually would not have been here in 1994. This statue is actually a replica of one that they have in the Warner Brothers studio in Burbank, California. But this statue actually came in 1995, a year after what I'm talking about right now. So like I said, everything besides this stage was pretty much exactly how it is today, except of course this right here would be the a great movie ride right now it's under construction for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway and so if we were here in 1994 and we were coming down on Hollywood Boulevard right here we would have a new way we could go we could come over here down to the newly opened Sunset Boulevard and actually we could ride the brand new Tower of Terror at the end of Sunset Boulevard the Tower of Terror opened in July of 1994. So down on Sunset Boulevard, we would have still had the Legends of Hollywood here on the right side, but I do not believe that this side was open over here where the Beverly Sunset Boutique is and all of these real Vogue. Um, I do not believe that this was open. And on this side, the Once Upon a Time souvenir stores were still open here. And then also, this little tiny store right here, you might have never even been over here, but this is called Sunset Ranch Pins and Souvenirs. This was also here. And also something that you could have seen in 1994, um, Aladdin was a big thing at this time. Aladdin actually had his own like little tiny kind of parade that would come through here with the genie and uh, Prince Ali and Jasmine. They would come through here and have like their own little parade. But of course you could still come over here and see the Beauty and the Beast show and then the brand new Tower of Terror. All right, so we've already explored the front part of the park over here and we went all the way down to the Chinese theater on this side as well as Sunset Boulevard over here. Now let's go explore this way and see what was here in 1994. 
So the first thing that's different is right here we have PV's Polar Pipeline. We can just get some ICs and other frozen concoctions. But uh, actually right here, this was called Lakeside Newsstand. And they sold like comics and newspapers here. Something that has been since removed though, it seems like it was somewhere right in this area. But it was called the Echo Park Produce. And I'm guessing they just sold like different types of fruit that you could buy. But everything else on this side of the lake over here um, is pretty much the same. They still have Hollywood and Vine right here. They still had the 50s Prime Time Cafe. And of course, Gertie was still here selling ice cream. And then just across the lake over here, this is still uh, the Dockside Diner. It used to be called Min and Bill's Dockside Diner, but it, it is still here operating. And of course, you would be able to come over here and watch the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. And this is actually, as of today, 2019, this is the longest running show or attraction here at Hollywood Studios. And this front part of Hollywood Studios, the Hollywood Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard, um, Echo Lake, this is all of my favorite parts of Hollywood Studios. This is what really uh, made me fall in love with this park. I like how this park was back in the day better than it is now, where it kind of takes you behind the scenes of the movies, now it takes you into the movies. It's great, uh, Galaxy's Edge is amazing, Toy Story Land is amazing, but um, I still like this old school Hollywood type of feel. I really would have loved to come over here in 1994 and experience everything. So as we continue around our trip, in 1994 in Disney MGM Studios. This uh, building right here where Star Wars Path of the Jedi is now, um, this actually was a show. It was called Chevy Chase and Martin Short in the Monster Sound Show. But then as we continue this way to this big theater, um, before we get to that though, there actually was a really big statue, a big golden statue that was right here in this little area. I'm not sure what the uh, statue was, but it was a big golden statue. And then right here in this theater, um, this actually was Superstar Television. It was described as, you may be the co-star in memorable scenes from Home Improvement, I Love Lucy, Cheers, The Tonight Show, and other TV hits. And so now let's head this way into this animation courtyard over here, because this has actually changed quite a lot. Of course, the first thing we see right here, this would actually say Disney MGM Studios. But this right here, The Voyage of the Little Mermaid, this was still here. This is the exact same show as they had in 1994 today. But actually, just across from The Voyage of the Little Mermaid, right over here, this used to be what was called the Catwalk Bar. But now you can see this is like a whole Disney Junior type of area. It has been this way for quite a while now. And so I'm sure many of you guys remember when Disney Hollywood Studios and MGM Studios had the backlot tour well the backlot tour used to be a very very long ride and actually the entrance of the backlot tour was right behind over here yes this is where you would enter to the backlot tour featuring catastrophe canyon where you could take a 30 minute shuttle ride between behind the scenes of a working motion picture and tv studio and then right here in 1994 this of course wasn't the star wars launch bay this was the magic of disney animation and you could go through a remarkable self-guided tour through a real animation studio First, go back to Neverland for a historically funny look at the animation process, and next, explore Walt Disney's feature animation Florida, the actual studio where Disney artists work on future classics before your eyes. And then, relive your magical moments with your animated friends in the Disney Classic Theater. But yes, real animated movies were made right back here, and pretty popular ones too, like Mulan and Lilo and Stitch. But yeah, this area right here, the animation courtyard, has changed so much. And just like how we are going to see with the rest of Hollywood Studios today, it's a lot different than it was in 1994. So then we leave the animation courtyard and head this way. And then this little street right here was actually called Mickey Avenue. And there really isn't anything over here now besides right here, Walt Disney Presents, which was formerly called Walt Disney One Man Dream. But this was not here during 1994. This actually opened, I think, in 2001. And so right now, this is Municiburg, and there's nothing really to do over here besides meet Edna Mode. Um, but when it was Mickey Avenue, there was actually a couple of things. Um, there, was a, there was a restaurant all the way down to the left side, and it was called the Studio Catering Company. There's also a couple of attractions that you could see. There was the Inside the Magic Special Effects and Production Tour. 
But right over here in this area, this is where the Inside the Magic special effects and production tour was. The description is, Hollywood's biggest stars are your video tour guides for this unique look at the complete movie and TV production process. Speak into real sound stages and the state of art post-production suites where you'll see actors, directors, writers, and producers at work. And on the back side of this, this is actually where the studio showcase was, where you could see actual costumes, props, and set pieces used by today's biggest stars and today's biggest movie names. And that's actually where the uh, Backlot Studio Tour would let you out. And so now we head this way into the brand new Toy Story Land, which definitely wasn't here in 1994. Wasn't even a thought. I don't even think Toy Story was made in 1994. Um, but anyways, this is gonna get a little bit tricky because it's kind of hard to tell where things were. All right, so Toy Story Land is comprised of what was the Backlot Studio Tour. The Backlot Studio Tour ran through here. And there was also some parking lots that were used to build this land. But mostly it was the Backlot Studio Tour. It's impossible to see where it was, where it ran through but it did run through here at one time. All right, I've made it back over here by the Path of the Jedi and Star Tours because I need to talk about this stuff before I finish off with Galaxy's Edge. So right here, this restaurant, the Backlot Express, is actually still here as it was in 1994. A couple of props have been removed from the inside, but overall, the restaurant is still pretty much the same. And then we still have Star Tours, but this is Star Tours The Adventure Continues. The Star Tours that was here in 1994 was the original Star Tours where you had Captain Rex as your pilot. And then the exit gift shop right here, right now this is called Tatooine Traders. But back in 1994, this was actually a different themed shop. This was called the Endor Vendors. And I'm not really sure why they changed it from Endor Vendors because Endor kind of matches the whole theme right here of the Ewok Village. But uh, yeah, they changed it to Tatooine Traders. And then we would make our way this way into the final land in 1994. This was called the Streets of America over here. And this main part right here, this was called New York Street. And uh, actually on the side over here in New York Street, there was a little shop. It was called the New York Newsstand, which would have been right over here in this area somewhere. And this is called Grand Park today, but this was the Streets of America back in the day. And uh, right over here, there was actually like a little video game uh, area. It was called a Studio Arcade. You could do the very latest in video games and other challenges and this right here is still the same pretty much how it was Except there used to be a balloon up here on the top of the villa on the top of the building with Kermit the Frog on it So right here stage one company store. This is uh, pretty much the same store as it was it's still right here They sell Muppets things in here other types of stuff But across the way this actually used to be another store and it was called the Looney Bin Foon Tunes But right now it's Pizza Reese Pizza Rizzo, which is open sometimes. It's not open all the time. Um, but yeah, this used to be a store and this is still a store. And then right over here on the other side of the Company One Studio store, there actually used to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, meet and greet where you can meet those bodacious crime fighters in person on New York Street for autographs, photos, and some gnarly practice moves. And also something that is still here is right here, Mama Melrose Restaurante Italiano. I really want to eat here. I've never eaten here before. I need, to, I need to come over here. It smells really good every time I pass by. And so we exit out of Grand Park. We exit out of this Muppets area part of what was the streets of America and we come back over here into New York Street and I forgot to mention but actually over here in New York Street there was a honey this honey I strunk the kids a uh, little play set for the kids you could come and play around in that area but then we come this way into the newest land so far uh, Galaxy's Edge just opened this year a couple months ago um, and it basically replaced all of the rest of the streets of America as well as the rest of the Backlot Tour. But in this area, this is where the residential street was and Catastrophe Canyon was back. Kind of where the Millennium Falcon is today. That's kind of what I'm getting from looking at the map and kind of comparing it today. It's a little hard, but uh, yeah, just kind of guessing. 
the Millennium Falcon is kind of where Catastrophe Canyon would be. But yeah, everything changes and MGM Studios has changed a lot. Now it's Hollywood Studios has a kind of a whole different theme than it did back in the day. I love the MGM Studios of back in the day, but the Hollywood Studios of today is still great. Look, I'm over here in Galaxy's Edge right now, and I'm fully immersed within the Star Wars universe, and this is pretty amazing. But I still really do miss old MGM Studios going behind the scenes of the movies and stuff, but I still always have those memories. I'll, I can always go back and watch videos on YouTube and stuff. That's what's great about YouTube. You can always go back and watch things that you miss. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video going back to 1994 at Disney MGM Studios. See how much Hollywood Studios has changed over the years. I like these videos where I go back to a certain point in time at a certain place. Kind of tell you guys what is over there. Let me know if you guys like these. Probably going to be doing more of these around the Disney parks. So let me know where you want me to do one of these and what time period. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new and it's kind of fun to do the impossible and I'll see you guys on the next video.